they're gonna be telling you guys our first time. This is not clickbait. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and join the family. Today is my birthday. So we're gonna be doing like a little seafood boil, but by the time we upload this, my birthday will be passed. But we made shrimp, king crab, corn, rice. We got our lemon and we have the B Love sauce. Yeah, tell them the special the sauce. The special B Love sauce. Ever since I've seen all these seafood boils on YouTube, they use B Love sauce and she just makes like the crab so, look so good when she's dipping it in it. So I was like, babe, for my birthday, since we're staying home and I can't go anywhere, let's buy the sauce, which wasn't cheap by the way. It was like 25, 25 on Amazon. for like just this packet. So we'll show a little clip of us making the food real quick. Yes, sir. What is this, babe, king crab? Yeah. We got some king crab right here for y'all. Mm -hmm. It's the birthday girl. Oh, uh, everybody give my girl a big shout out. Her Jordan year. Fresh corn right there, boiling. We got the shrimp already cooked. We're just steaming it up. Some fresh rice cooking. And, and tell them what the this is. Tell them what that is. Main ingredient, it's B-Love herself sauce. Her Smackalicious Seafood Boil Sauce. Ooh, it just looks like it's gonna tell your insides. Mm, but we didn't get the spicy one though. It actually tastes good, I got mild. Mm. All right, y'all, so we about to. So we're gonna do it a different way. We gonna we already have our shrimp, and instead of dipping it, we're gonna drop some sauce in there already, and then still dip. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we still season the shrimp a little, but we wanted to add some of B Love sauce. So this is B Love sauce. Look how thick it is. Mmm. Just watch. Just a little. We gonna hit y'all with this slow mo. I wish it was spicy. You but can it's add good. spice because no, I don't like good. spicy. It's good though. I know you don't like spicy. No, you gotta wait. Mmm, I'm gonna take your. Look at my man's cooking the crab over there. Mmm, it smells so good, babe. But before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, join the family, turn those post notifications on so you guys are notified every single time we post. You don't wanna miss another video. And thank you for 12K, guys. We love you so much. All right. I'm ready to eat. I'm so hungry. All right, so today we got a special, special video because we're gonna be telling you guys our first time. This is not clickbait. Yes, we're gonna be telling you about our actual first, first time, but we're also gonna be including, we're gonna be including our first times to a lot of other things. <sighs> okay, start cracking your crowd plates while I get into this okay. because I wanna see. Mm. So, the first time you got drunk. The first time I got drunk? Consumed alcohol beverages. <laughs> Then Damn, we're about to be got drunk. We're about to be seen like we're about to be seen hella bad, like in a bad light to like younger, uh, like a younger audience. I'm worse than you. I know. That's but why. I, the, the first time I really got faded was my what was it my 16th birthday? We had like that. Dude, we had like this huge party in my crib. It wasn't 16. You turned 15. It was freshman year. Oh shit! So we had I threw like this big ass party. Like we had everybody pull up, bro. I got. Shit face, I fit like faded, bro. Like mixed honey, mixed tequila, mixed everything, bro. Like I was. And the party was at this house. Like it was this at this was house. His parents' house, and we had a big ass party. Damn, I was your girlfriend, and I remember I had to give him a lap dance in front of everybody in like the center of this living room. I remember that. And there were like people throwing up and like. Dude, everybody was. Throwing. That room over there. <laughs> that room was a throw up room. <laughs> And when you would walk in there, that's where we threw all of the drunk people. Like, we didn't want to deal with them. We threw them all in one room and it was just nasty. You remember Ugh. Robert Heist himself? Oh my god, there was a kid that shit himself because he was he so was drunk. He was the homie though. He that was crazy. But that wasn't my first time I got drunk. I mean, I was a little tipsy, but I wasn't super drunk. I got drunk at a really young age. How young are we talking there? It's really bad, but. It's just the people I was around, they, I'm not blaming them because obviously I make my own choices, but the people I was around, their parents didn't care if they drank. So I was like getting drunk, I think at like, maybe 12, 
12 years old, I want to say. Bang. The first time I got drunk and I've never blacked out in my life. So I think I was just super drunk at my friend's house and yeah, it was like a little kickback. But we're not in no way like influencing anyone to do it. We're just giving our experience because I feel like it's really bad. But we also didn't grow up in like the nicest part of town. So I feel like the environment was just different. I'm gonna try this, the shrimp. Damn, I haven't tried it. Damn, dog, look at the that. So right I'm now. <laughs> Next question is, first time getting into a fight. Like a fist fight? Yeah. Oh. Um, Yours was in middle school. No, I had a fight before that. I was really? In elementary. Yeah, elementary. Elementary? Yeah. Oh, I've gone in a fight in elementary. That was my first fight too then. I didn't consider it a fight. He was a white kid. He was like a bully, bro. What happened, babe? You never told me this. Like, he was just a bully. And we were at tetherball. <laughs> he wanted your lunch money? No, we were at tetherball. That was a big piece. I'm jealous. But. I'm so sorry. You want to put something in your right? Yeah. We were on the pole. And he had lost. But it was my turn. He didn't want to get off. So, I was like, bro, get off. You lost. He was like, no, nah, I'm not getting off. I was like, bro, get off. And then he got in my face. So, like, but back then, it wasn't, like, real, like, a real fight. You know, I just picked him up and slammed him and shit. And, like, everybody was like, oh. And, yeah. And after that, I had, like, four other fights, like, growing up. But that doesn't really matter. Four? Mm hmm. Who was next? Oh no, it was just three. Three. I was like, That's hold three. on, because I met you and I know all the other people. Oh, was it shadow boxing with your homies? Oh, oh my god. Me and my friends used to fist fight in the room just to see, like, just to make sure that. Who's the alpha? No. <laughs> we would just fight to, like, teach each other how to fight. Like, let's say we, like, got pressed or something like we wanted to make sure that you could fight because you have our back you know so me and my friends were literally like hit each other like hit each other not even like bro i don't even know why but my first fight was that almost sound like friends bro my first fight was in fifth grade but she didn't hit me back so is that a fight no it means you bullied her i punched her you no her. but she was she was like she said something to me Dude, and I remember we were under like those shade things at recess at PE time and I punched her. I think she pushed me first. Hold on. It was so long ago. She pushed me first and I punched her and she started bleeding from her nose. I bet you abuse that. But then that I after that I've never been in a fight. Like I've pressed people. I feel like because I was bullied, so like I kind of was scared. But then once I got to high school, I was like, what? What? And then nobody wanted to fight me, so that was it. These girls wanted to fight me <laughs> in middle school because they thought I was trying to act Mexican or Hispanic, whatever. They thought. That's why they wanted to fight me. Isn't that crazy? Like, it was just because I was the only white girl in my circle of friends. But that's just because of where I grew up. Anyway, just wanted to say that. Yeah, Next question, right babe. You have it dripping. You need a you want to need a napkin? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> My man, messy. You're really gonna be. You're eating everything before me. I can't even eat right now. All right. Next question. The next one is the first kiss you've ever had. Our first kiss was at a flag at our middle school flagpole. You remember that? I when was like, he asked right. me out. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna ask her out. And then after I asked her out, bro. She didn't like lean in to kiss me or nothing, so I was like, can I get a kiss? <laughs> he asked me for one. I was like, I'll can I get a kiss? I still remember that. Dude, and I just that? said, instead of me leaning in to kiss, like, yes, I said, yes. And then he kisses me. Like, was why like was I peck, like that? Bro. It was like a peck, yeah. We didn't even make peck. out. When was our first make out? I can't remember. Dude, you guys, so our first kiss was legit 10 years ago. It was October 1st, 2010, because that's when, like, we started dating at a young age dude it's been a decade who can say that well, are we still together mmm mmm corn uh, I just gotta have y'all just look at this bro right Ugh. 
Next. Your Go. first celebrity crush. <laughs> My first celebrity crush? Um, Think way back when, boom. So I was like a big ass like Disney kid. So I used to watch all the Disney Channel shows. I felt like a little, like, I felt like if I were to tell anybody that, like, they would, like, judge me. Because back in the day, if you were watching Nickelodeon, you know what I'm saying? You were watching Disney I as a guy. Disney ending. But as a guy, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, true. It was, like, kind of weird. I don't know, but I used to watch, like, the Hannah Montana show. And I had the biggest crush on Miley Cyrus. She was, like, my She's first. Beautiful. But back then, though, before she turned, like, She's crazy. Dope. But she turned crazy She's for a while. She's still bad. Yeah. Who's yours? Everybody uh, knows mine. Yeah, I, I was yeah. like in love with him all the way until I think freshman year. And then I was like, okay. It's like the little phase. Justin Bieber, guys. I was in love with Justin Bieber. I had Justin Bieber posters. I had a Justin Bieber toothbrush that would sing his songs. So like you would brush your teeth to his song. I was like obsessed. I had Justin Bieber t-shirts. I still have a Justin Bieber t-shirt. He took me to go see Justin Bieber oh, movie when it came on out. on Christmas. On Christmas it came I out. I remember that. Because you knew how like I really liked him. And then like it kind of died out. But now that like he's married and stuff, I kind of see him as like a grown man. And I'm just like, oh, like it's, he's way different from when he was little with like the long hair. But him and his wife are so cute together. If when he has a concert up here though, me and Michael do want to go. Everybody makes mistakes. All right, next question. Have <laughs> <laughs> you caught that? You get the best of both worlds. Damn, bro, if and I would have watched know, that right mm -hmm. now. It's on Disney Plus. Is it really? Yeah, I watched it. I don't think I could watch that now though. Like, Baby, you have like shit like chance. At least they know this is a real McBang. Like, I'm trying to get in. I'm not, because I'm talking. All right, what was your first car? Oh, my first car? Like yours, not your parents. You bought with your money. Probably my first, my first Camaro. I had a 1997, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh no, it was the your Jetta. Jetta. You got me messed up. I forgot about the Jetta. I remember. Bro, so I showed up, right? I told my girl, I was like, hey babe, meet me in the parking lot. Cause she was at school. I you didn't go to school that day. I didn't go to school that day. I got the Jetta. And when I got the Jetta, like, it wasn't like the best car, bro. Like, it, had, it didn't pass smog. It was like, a good first car, though. But it was like a silver automatic Jetta. Silver? Baby, it was like a gray. A silver. Baby. Babe, I remember it was silver. Baby. It was silver. Baby. It was definitely like a charcoal gray. Your Pontiac was silver. Your Pontiac. Same thing. I remember. If I got it, the first thing my girl says when she gets in, she goes, "It smells like crayons in here." Every Jetta smells like crayons. Like I don't know why though. Every Jetta does smell like crayons. I think I it's let like me know if that's true. I don't know why I say crayons, but the scent that those cars have just reminds me of crayons. My first car was a Honda Accord. We barely sold it like a year ago. We've had it for a while. I was but like our reliable car. But you didn't think it was outdated, remember? No, I thought like it was pretty decent. Like, okay, babe, what was our first argument? Like big argument. It had to have been in high school. A big argument? But I don't remember over what. I don't remember. To be honest, I feel like I've been with you so long. Like, We've had a lot of arguments, guys. Sometimes- Imagine over... dating him when he's like a kid like we started dating 12 years old so obviously like we both would argue about a lot of things but now we don't even argue over small things like we barely argue if we argue it's about real life i learned a valuable lesson happy wife happy life i feel like we've been through literally every argument you could think of like if you guys have an argument that you went through we probably went through it that's why a lot of people come to us for advice because we've been together like so we're like the grandpas, bro. We went through it really young, that's why. But we fell in love really fast, well, young age. Like, trust me, we've had time apart and we've always came back to each other. So that's how you know it's real love. What was your first phone? My first phone was this old brick 
Blackberry. How, how many of y'all remember the Blackberry? When did you get your first phone? What age? I think middle school. Me too. But I got my first one, I think like seventh grade. It was that brick phone too. The flip one? The purple one? Oh, it looked like remember? a little computer. It was like, what was it called? I don't remember. It was like the purple LG. It was like a square. It was like a flip. It was a dinosaur, bro. Dude, I used to throw it and hey, it wouldn't it. even Remember and it wouldn't even it? like break. It was like indestructible. Your first adult film, meaning um, you know the p word, but Triple we can't X. say it. We can't say it on here because let me go first because we obviously know yours is really young. I remember seeing like the first adult thing was in a magazine because that's how far back we're going. It was freaking old. <laughs> I used to ever hang out. Well, like a, like an older crowd when I was like in elementary. I used to go hoop and they would be talking about like, you know, all those videos and I remember this one specifically. They were talking about the Paris Hilton one. <gasps> remember that one? No, my, my first film was the Kim K and Ray J one. Cause I remember seeing it in sixth grade cause all the guys were watching it. It was it was called The Night in Paris. And I was like, I, you guys don't know how I watched it? Be, some of you guys might not remember what this was, but back in the day, there was this thing called LimeWire. <gasps> you remember LimeWire, man? Yep. And I downloaded the movie. And then I waited till my mom and my dad went to work to download it, and I watched it. I was like, this shit weak. <laughs> all right, our last question now, you guys all been waiting for. Our first time we had, you know, that, <clears throat> our first time in bed. Sexy time. We call it sexy time. Damn, you got fat fingers. I still have a whole thing to eat, babe. I'm not even able to eat. I'm keep talking. So our first time, um, it was right after. No. No, before basketball. It was before, because we went to basketball practice, right? We both played basketball. It was we got in off high school. We got out of school early. It was like 12 o'clock. Practice wasn't until two. And I would always come to his house every Thursday because, like, my mom wasn't able to pick me up. So we walked to my house. And then we we're making out, we started dry because you know we started getting in the you know sand. If it was you know too tight, but I couldn't find the hole or it wouldn't go in, you remember? Dude, and we had to try the second day. Remember, we got it like no, we can't talk about that. Like I know. In detail. I know. It wasn't working out the first time, so we had to do it the next day. And then, it went and then down. it finally went down. But okay. it didn't feel how I thought it would. Like I was like is this supposed to feel good? Like, it was- Pause, huh? <laughs> For me, like, obviously the girl, it's a little painful. Hey, I went back to practice like, you know what I mean? And then the whole school found out. That's how school is though. It's annoying. Words, and I remember they were like telling everybody that like we were gonna get pregnant and stuff and I was like dude look at us now we ain't got no babies and we're still together it was it was the best two minutes of my life but you guys we actually <laughs> we actually like lost our virginity to each other that's like the awkward he, part because we both didn't know what, what we were, we were doing. doing like like I lost mine to him and he lost his to me that's crazy to think about now and like now like our future kids <laughs> we're gonna tell them like they're not gonna believe us I like, shut up talking to me. Yeah, this is fire, but I need to eat guys, so. I conclude today's video. Y'all got in deep with us. Y'all know exactly what happened. We'll be down. We'll probably do like a live Q&A. Like so you guys could get more of our backgrounds really soon. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Join the fam. Turn those post notifications on so you guys are notified every single time we post. Don't want to miss another video. And like me and my beautiful baby always say. We'll be back with more videos. We out. What the fuck? <laughs> Ew! <laughs> I just saw a bug on your arm.